Welcome back to Confused Immigrants. It's time for our segment, Legally British. I object. In this segment, we have a confused immigrant and their token Brit compete against each other in a pop quiz of real life in the UK questions, oh, no. which is the name of the British citizenship <laughs> test. Our confused immigrant today, you know her already, the multi-talented and multilingual Anna is <laughs> Her token Brit today is her fellow Swifty and fellow comedian, Gemma Luciana. Hey. So, Anais, Gemma, here are the rules of the game. Okay. You'll both take turns answering a series of real questions pulled directly from the Life in the UK test. And you will both have one chance each to answer them. At the end, the person with the most questions answered correctly wins the game. This is where I find out I'm not British, isn't it? And the I'm winner, dated. the winner will take the loser's passport. <laughs> oh, okay, great. Yeah. Thank you so much. Both you know, you. my passport was actually stolen in Las Vegas about two months ago, so. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to go the way to get it. No, that, that's sorry. fine. My dad lives in Vegas. So just, yeah, it'll be like yeah. a little trip. It all works out. So there's more in it for you to win this game because then Trips you have an excuse to go and like, see your dad and like, by the way, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So much yeah. estate. Plus yeah. then, then yeah. I'll be with three passports <laughs> and I win. Nice. Before we start the game, why do you choose to challenge Gemma at a game where she might lose her citizenship? <laughs> uh, are you just trying to get rid of the competition <laughs> in the comedy scene? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad, you know. We, I just like, you know, let's that's be honest. Get competitive. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah, we well, ups the stakes. I the saw game. the Barbie movie and I went, oh my God. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> See, I feel like if it was an era store to get at stake, that's when it gets real. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. true. That is yeah. absolutely Have accurate. you seen this, this meme where they take one star reviews from Barbie and put them in the poster? <laughs> yes. And it's like, they won't stop until they make all of us gay. <laughs> yeah. And I kind of love that. That was yeah. my favorite one. I was yeah. like, they won't. You yeah. are correct. <laughs> yeah. It's amazing. Okay, I think it's start to start the game. All right. The first question is for you, Anais. Oh, no. Okay. The question is, what does the UK offer to its permanent residents or citizens? And the possible answers are, A, a right to judge others, B, a right to join in the election of a government. C. A right to patronise other nations. <laughs> I'd love it to be Or that. D. An all right government. I want to say C because it's just funny and accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Officially, that's incorrect. But unofficially, it is correct. I kind of want to give you half a point for that, can I? <laughs> half a point. What, like it's hard? Half a point. Okay, great answer. The next question is for you, Gemma. Are you yeah, ready? Go for it. The question is, which of the following statements is true? And the possible options are, A, to apply to become a British citizen, you need a good understanding of life in the UK. B, to apply to become a British citizen, you need to be compliant and to be willing to pay. <laughs> C, <laughs> To apply to become a British citizen, you need to be white and to be gay. <laughs> I would love it to be yeah. the third one. <laughs> Is that your final answer? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it technically it's incorrect. I mean, there's well, some, there's some truth in it, I feel like. Yeah, yeah, it would half be lovely. Yeah, I yeah. feel like, yeah. But the whole um, of the UK was just an extension of Soho. I just feel like that would be... <laughs> A dream. It's true. That would probably be Barbie Dreamland. I was yeah. about to say yeah. that. Oh I was like, God. it is Barbie Dreamland yeah. if that yeah. were the case. Yeah. But don't worry, Gemma. There's, there's many more opportunities for you uh, to get ahead in the game. This is just the beginning. So, yeah. Not even now. Ooh. The next question is for you, Anais. All right, let's go. The question is, what is the capital of Scotland? And the possible answers are A, Aberdeen, B, Edinburgh, C, Backpipe City. <laughs> Or D, Whiskey Town. Isn't it Aberdeen? Is that your final answer? <laughs> no. Shit. I, I feel like we should know this. This is so bad because I have a friend who's Scottish yeah. and if she listens to this, she, she's from Aberdeen, so it's not... No, it is. No, it's Edinburgh. No, hold on. Oh, no. I'm just... Oh, shit. Okay, well, let's just... No. <laughs> Let's do Aberdeen. Screw it. I, I will be wrong. So you find an answer? Yeah. Damn it. I, I am 
so I object. Sorry. It is Edinburgh. Yeah. Uh, okay, mm. I thought that was too good to be true. Yeah, I know. I think I would have also gone for Aberdeen. Yeah. yeah. Well, Aberdeen is the capital in my mind because my friend's from there. So. There you go. Yeah, it's, it's the most important city for you. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Like, and I that's how I view yeah. my life is yeah. what's important to me. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's okay. It's still, you know, it's half a point for an eight. <laughs> so t- she's technically in the head, but, uh, uh, but you know, but I feel like there's still so much game ahead of us. That's Gemma, true. you might still yeah. win. And I can bring this back. Yeah. Are you okay. ready for your next I'm question? I'm so ready. Okay. Your next question is, who faith famously wrote the following verse? Your touch brought forth an incandescent glow, tarnished but so grand. The possible answers are A. J. H. Prime B. T. S. Eliot C. T. A. Swift <laughs> D. W. H. Auden Say the, the quote again for me. Uh, who fa- famously wrote the following verse? Your torch... Your, sorry. I think Your torch brought forth an incandescent glow Tarnished but so grand. It definitely could be Tia Swift. That is something that she would write. That is correct. <laughs> the answer is Taylor oh Alison Swift. <laughs> that is the lyrics I'm from to think, like, which song Ivy, I want to say, from probably. It? I'm glad. I'm glad as a Swifty right? she nailed that. Because can you imagine? You're like I'm a Swifty and then got that no, wrong. No, I feel like I would die if I got that wrong. But I was like, no, mm. that's from a. That's from a. You're like this sounds yeah. familiar. <laughs> yeah. I it like was the a trick question. Yeah. That is a good trick question. Yeah, it's well done. Trick. Oh my god, Gemma, you're 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 in the head of the well, game yeah. already. Yeah. yeah. One Ooh. point for Gemma, half a point for Anais. <laughs> A pity point. But Anais, after this question, you might get one that's and a half true. points. That's true. Let's go. So, are you ready? I'm ready. Anais, the question is, who won season nine of Love Island? Oh, I might know this. And the possible answers oh, no. are A, K and Sanam, B, Tanya and Shaq, C, Keme and Miss Biggie, <laughs> or D, we're all losers when we watch Love Island. We're all... Oh, I think the last one is definitely, like, the most correct answer. <laughs> That's probably... I mean, I have to go with D. I know that that is incorrect, but it is correct. That is correct, yeah. yeah. I mean, we would have also accepted A, yeah. Kevin Shanam, because that is canonically who won. <laughs> canonically but, who won. But in also, the larger scheme of things. As someone that is currently watching Love Island... <laughs> We're all losers. Yeah. Yeah. We're um, because losers. if because I, I do think if I were to be on Love Island, it would be a great opportunity. I think I would nail I think, it. Yeah. I think we should have more interesting people like us I, on I Love think, Island. I think the reason... Rather than I could, people that don't know that Brexit and trees are not the same thing. Yeah. Exactly, but I do think I would I would do so well. You want people who know what the capital of Edinburgh is, you know what I mean? <laughs> or, or people who don't <laughs> yeah. is even better. I think also yeah. the best part is it's, it's the whole idea of Love Island yeah. is people coupling up and then every week you watch their mental health disintegrate <laughs> and that's already my life but uh, at the end they get brand deals yes. so it's like why wouldn't I put myself yeah. out there? You want to get some cash I think we it. need yeah. situationship island I think it's more yeah. realistic more that's obtainable Wait, do you really want to go to Love Island wouldn't you prefer something like The Bachelorette which is just a bunch of guys and you choose or um, no, F Boy Island have you seen F Boy Island I've heard about F Boy Island I think the reason I would pick Love Island yeah is because I just, I love mess, and I love... And free stuff. Free stuff and free is stuff is yeah. great. Yeah. Like, you just, they just get free stuff yeah. after it. Like, they get that. so many brand deals. Like, that's the reason. But then also, like, I would probably be, like, the first bigger person. Yeah. I say bigger because everyone there is, like, a size zero, yeah. minus two. Yeah. But I think I would, I would like, bring some, like, you know... And I, I would want to be, yeah. like, one of... I would love to be, like, the girl's girl, but then also the boys girl Mm. that kind of like I want to get the tea from everybody and then I also think it would be really cool if I um, did a fake relationship with someone on the show and then we would like keep each other in like we would we wouldn't tell anyone else it's a fake relationship the audience at home would know 
but then they would all just root for us because you're just they love professionals you're saying like this is fake but we're tricking everyone yeah but then everyone would love us because everyone loves a fake relationship Mm. to actual dating and that could potentially happen exactly you have to be the first person to steal the money at the end though that's the thing is i would steal the money i mean i'd split it with him later because like i'd be like we're cool but like for tv purposes yeah (laughs) I you ran away with the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it was purposes. super yeah. feminist of me. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So this is one and a half points for the nineties. <laughs> one point for Gemma, and I see you're in the head right now. Love it. Uh, but Gemma, this is your chance yeah, to to claim the game back. Uh, the following question question is for you: Which of the following is not a traditional food from Northern Ireland? <gasps> These are the possible options: <laughs> A, fifteens. B, champ. C, chomp. D, yellow man. <laughs> okay, it, it, it's, One of them it's is not. not a traditional food from Northern Ireland. Fifteens. There's only one champ, that I know, so chomp, I think that I'm going to go for that man. one, which is chomp. Do you say champ is not no, ch- ch- chomp? Chomp. Because chomp is like a, a like a chocolate bar, which I think is British. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I actually made up I'm, chomp, but I'm glad that is it actually is something that I didn't know. It's like a caramel chocolate bar, Fair I enough. think. Yeah. You know I what? Just, yeah. I have yeah. no idea. Put it, put it in the graph. <laughs> yes, <laughs> please. Can we, Happy Carrie? Chomp. Can you add it? Thank you. Uh, yeah, I just thought chomp, so I'm just gonna add chomp. But I'm so I'm, I'm, I have no idea. Thinking, of thinking. What's, it was, a, yeah. what's a yellow man? I actually well, I know 15 is some kind of like fry up. It's like fried bits. Okay. I don't know what yellow man I is because I didn't do my research. Be, <laughs> I did my research enough to write the question, but not to ask follow up questions. Love, but uh, I feel but, like we're chaotically answering yeah. this. <laughs> but if anyone uh, from Northern Ireland is listening uh, and Sorry. they want to email us what uh, yellow man or champ <laughs> is, email us at confusingmigrantspodcast at gmail dot com. Thank you so much. It's all different potatoes. <laughs> It is two points for Gemma. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there was one thing, that, another option was to say, it was just like different kinds of potatoes as well. Mm. I would have gone with that as well. But anyway, right. uh, just two points for Gemma, one and a half points for Anais. Anais, the stakes are getting higher and they higher. They are, I feel them. Are you ready? Yes. The next question is, which British musical artist came out as LGBT only to later backpedal amidst the outbreak of the HIV epidemic. Oh. The possible answers are Dusty Springfield, B, David Bowie, C, Sir Paul McCartney, <laughs> or D, his wife Linda McCartney, what's gay than a vegan sausage company? <laughs> oh, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, no. Damn, that one's deep. That's one hard. I know it's not the last two. Okay. I don't want it to be David Bowie because that would be really sad if if that was the case. So I'm gonna go with A. Dusty Springfield. Yeah, is that a real person? That, yeah. Oh great. <laughs> she sings yeah. Song of a Preacher Man. Oh then you yeah, know, let's go with that one. Yeah, is that your final answer? Yeah. Oh. Was it David I Bowie? Object. It is David Bowie. Oh, that's oh so... God. I didn't want to believe that. He came like, out as bi and then he was like, JK. That's what I thought. Oh, that's really sad. I that know. makes me mad. But he wasn't fooling anyone. He wasn't fooling... <laughs> that's why I was like, I was like, I think... But I was like, he wouldn't do that during the... Cr- like, he wouldn't be that person. Yeah. Oh, okay, David. You've upset me. I know. It, he was a complicated person. You know? Okay. <laughs> Look at me apologizing for <laughs> Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> Okay, so this is still two points for Gemma, one and a half points for Anais. Gemma, the next question is for you. Which of the following British musical artists didn't come out as LGBTQ+, but has queer baited his way all the way to the Grammys? (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it took that! That one? I, I feel like I probably know who this is before the. Okay. The do you want me to? Uh, no, do you read, want me to give you the answers? See if he's the, pos- there. the options are A. Jesse J. <laughs> B. Harry Styles. C. Mick Jagger. D. Really, just one. It's gotta be Harry Styles. <laughs> but also, it's really just one. Yeah, we would have also accepted D. 
Uh, that's a great. Damn it. Gemma, three points. Woo! Oh my god. I'm annoyed because I knew that one. <laughs> okay. Um, and I didn't know any of yours. <laughs> god damn it. This is your chance to... To reclaim. To, yeah, to reclaim. So, Anais, the next question is for you. What is a capital sin of British Bake Off? Ooh. These are the possible options. Go. A, a sweaty bottom. B, a soggy bottom. <laughs> C, an aging twink. <laughs> or D, a dumb top. R- remind me the... A, a sweaty bottom. Yeah. B, a soggy bottom. I'm going to say soggy bottom, but I do think the twink is an amazing answer as well. <laughs> Which one do you want to go with? I'm going to go soggy bottom. Thank you. That yeah, is like correct. Well done. Two and a half points for Anais. <laughs> Three points for Gemma. Gemma, the next question is for you. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Which of the following staples of British Bake Off have done blackface before? (laughs) And the possible answers are A. Mary Berry B. Paul Hollywood C. Noel Fielding Or D. Privately, probably all of them I mean, it probably is the last one, however... I'm pretty sure I remember Noel Fielding doing like a moon face sketch or something, which may be that. So I'm going to go Noel Fielding. Yeah, <laughs> it was mighty bush, yeah. <laughs> so that brings us to the end of the competition. That is four points for Gemma. Oh, woo. Oh, no, passport. Two and a half points for Anais. <laughs> That means this is unprecedented. Oh my god, Usually... so do I get to take a nice passport? So yes. Oh my god, yay! So you, now get, I can you get to choose one. which one you want to take. Do you want the American or the French? The American one, so yeah. I can go back to Vegas and steal my passport. <laughs> you can do yeah. it with my dad at this point. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what are you going to do with your new American passport, Gemma? New American passport. Maybe I should like feed it back into the system and go steal an American ones instead. Yeah. Yeah, and then, and then like, like the balance of the universe is restored. Nice, I like that Beautiful. thinking. Yeah. <laughs> that was a poetic answer. Yeah, I like that thinking. Mm-hmm.